So today I'm going to explain how to use X2View to export data collected from an X, a RaySafe X2 base unit to uh, Excel. Most Excel templates that our customers use have at least two sheets. Um, one is the data sheet, which is used to collect the raw data. And the other sheet is the um, report sheet, which um, is used to report the data, do calculations and report the data. So I'm going to click on the uh, report sheet. And then back in X2 view, the first thing I have to do is connect um, X2 view to Excel. After I do that, I need to select a workbook. Now, the only workbook that's open on my laptop at the moment is the one that I'm going to use. If there are more open, I'd have to choose from among um, all that are open. I'm going to export my data to the data worksheet. And uh, I'm going to start data collection in cell H4. So row 4 will be populated with information from the first exposure. So KV, dose, dose rate, exposure time, etc. Will all, will all populate in row 4 to begin with. But first to do that, I either need to type H4 as a starting cell, or I can, since I have um, selected cell H4, I can get active cell, and it automatically puts it here, uh, showing that it's the first, the starting cell is going to be H4. I want to make sure that I export my data in XI view format because that's the temp that's the way the template was designed. Um, most of our templates are designed um, to use for use with either XI or X2, um, but I have to choose XI view format to choose this to use this one. Um, templates can be downloaded from our website racesafe.com, or if you're in X2 view, this link. Um, download Excel templates will take you to um, the page on our website that allows you to download the templates. I want to make sure that automatically export to Excel is the box is checked because I want my data to flow uh, immediately from the base unit to X2 view to Excel. So what I'm going to do is I am going to simulate an exposure. So you'll see the data populate in X2 view, but you'll also see it immediately populate in Excel. I'm going to simulate an 80 kV exposure because what I'm going to do first is um, uh, my reproducibility tests. So it calls for um, several 80 kV exposures in a row. So I simulated the first one. I'm going to do a few more. Maybe one more. And then I want to show you, um, as an intermediate step here, how to import data from your base unit. So I've done uh, one, two, three, four, five. I need to do one, two, three, four, five more because I think we're taking 10 here for our reproducibility test. So if I go to File and Import from Base Unit, now I can import from the base unit. And I'm going to select today, September 5th. And I had a session here. I'm going to um, just import the data from that session. So that will import it into X2 view, but it will not yet export it to Excel. So I'm going to um, select all of them. And I'm going to export not all, 
because if I export it all, I'd, I'd, I'd get the uh, previous session too. So I just want to export um, these ones that here that I've selected that were at 5.06 p.m. So I can click on the arrow to drop down the uh, selection box and I will export only the selected ones. And you'll see that it'll fill in the next cell or next row will be row 9 which is the row that I want indeed. So export to Excel and you'll see that those now have populated. So now I'm done with my reproducibility test. Of course what you do is you'd, you'd make one exposure after another if it was really a reproducibility test. But I just wanted to show you also how to import from the base unit. Now we can do our timer and KV accuracy. And to do that, I'm going to simulate an 80, 90, and 100 kV exposure. So first the 80. And you'll see that it did populate, so I'm ready to do the 90. And last but not least, the 100 kV. And I could go on and do more. I could also simulate um, some um, exposures to do my mass linearity test, but I think um, you get the idea. So let's look at the report that we've generated now. So um, you'll notice that in the data, the KVP numbers here for the reproducibility, and if you could see the dose, numbers which I'll scroll over so you can it's all the same right because they're just simulated exposures um, I've actually it populated our uh, KV and our um, exposure time um, for the KV accuracy and timer accuracy tests so that's all there is today so it's easy um, you just hook up your base unit to uh, your laptop start X2 view, um, either um, retrieve data or import data from the base unit, as we did, as I showed you, or um, just make some exposures, making sure that this check, uh, box is checkmarked, uh, or is checked. And um, those that data then, remember to make sure you um, select the correct starting cell. And those data, that data from the exposures uh, will populate the report and you'll have a nice looking report that you can print. All right, thank you.